Hello friends, this is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room and welcome to Thrifty Thursday. So I wanted to mention before I show you my thrifty finds from this past week uh, that Marie and I seem to be doing our Thrifty Thursdays uh, now uh, every week. So I wanted to mention that she was doing it too. So I'm going to link her channel below so you can go and see what she has and look at her Thrifty Thursdays. I have a playlist below mine if you want to see my past Thrifty Thursdays. Uh, just check that out. But anyway, I hope you're all having a good week. And um, so let's just get started. This is where I come to you each week and I just show you what I picked up at thrift stores for the past couple of, or for the past week. Anyway, so let's get started. So on the top here, um, some of these things I have in my Etsy shop and some of these things are for my own personal crafting use. So I'll try to tell you which one is which when I show you what I got but uh, I found these two um, drawstring bags and I show you these once in a while and I just I don't know I just find these random uh, drawstring bags all the time at my thrift store so I pick them up I don't believe there was anything in either one of these when I found them and I'll bring them home if they needed washing I wash them and then I use them for usually I end up using them in my orders my Etsy orders and if I have a piece of jewelry that I want to put in a special bag or something special that I want to put in a special bag <laughs> you know something small usually or here's a bigger one so I'd be able to put something in there that's a little bigger but they're so you know they're always um, so many different uh, you know fabrics that they're made out of and I think they're fun and cute and they don't cost me very much so it's fun to you know put something in my orders in a nice fun little drawstring bag right so I always pick those up when I see them and then a uh, string. There is a string. Oh, this was a, let's see, this was a pretty, what was it? <clears throat> this was an apron. And I was going to put it in my shop, and then I noticed it had a couple of, uh, like, spots on it. They were light spots, but I don't, you know, it was too much to put in my shop. You know, I just, I didn't feel like I could, you know, really put it in my shop the way it was. So, uh, it had all these squares on it, so I'll show you. This is why I got it. It's kind of Pennsylvania Dutch themed apron. It was really pretty, but it just had too many spots to save the whole apron. But I did say I did save all these little squares, so I cut them out. And um, I don't think I've put any in my shop yet. I think I shared one with someone, Maria, maybe. And then uh, so I might put a few of these in my shop and then save a few for me. But see, here's a little. Um, looks like a little fox on there and see the tulips and just overall pretty little scene there so they're all like that this one has like looks like strawberries there's a couple of those here so I just wanted to show you why I liked it so much these would be great in uh, junk journals if it was the right size too and I could you know you could use this whole piece or you could you know fussy cut out the little scalloped edge and just use that so you have a smaller piece uh, so yeah there's a bunch of those foxes here's the real Pennsylvania Dutch um, looking pieces right here see the little man and woman there and then this one here looks like a real Pennsylvania Dutch little motif there isn't that pretty so yeah I like those here's another one just a lady with some flowers so you see what I'm talking about with the Pennsylvania Dutch, right? But, um, yeah, oh, here's a little tree. Isn't that pretty with a bird in it? So th that was such a pretty apron. I wish I could have saved the whole thing. You know, I have several aprons, I think, still in my shop. So here's a piece of the spot right here. See, uh, let me show you. See this right here? It almost looks like coffee. I don't know what it is, but right there. And I washed it, too, and it just wouldn't come out, whatever was on there. So I just cut it up and used it this way. But that, um, this, so this next stack here, some of these things I'm putting, I'm kind of uh, making a pile of things I'm going to put in my next kind of bundle, fabric, trim, whatever, hankies, doilies, whatever I have in that stack. I'm going to divide it up and make some little packs, little bundles. And so like these things are going to probably must go in there. And uh, I have a few in my shop now. I think I have a fabric bundle. Um and uh, the vintage sheet bundle. I know I have those too. So, um, you know, 
when I get enough together for the next ones, I'll be putting some more in there. But this is a little piece I thought um, I'd either, well, I, I don't think I'm going to cut it up. Like, I think I would put this whole thing in, in one. I'm trying to do something. I kind of do something different, whatever I think the fabrics need from me. If they need to be cut up, I cut them up. If I, you know, feel like they want to be left whole, I leave them whole, you know? So like, this is such a pretty piece. I would just leave it whole and let someone do what they want because the fabric can be used. And then this has a pretty rickrack border blue rick rack so and it has a backing here it's actually two layers so that's actually two layers of fabric that could be taken apart and used you know for crafting so that's one piece that's going all this is going into that pile of stuff i'm saving for those bundles uh this let's see i think this had some embroidery on it or oh this had something on it i already cut off I think, yeah, I had something here, some embroidery that I cut off. I don't know if it's here or somewhere else, but I cut this off and I thought, well, I'll just cut this up and put it into my bundles because it's a nice piece of like linen, you know what I mean? So it's like a tea towel type of thing that had some, had some pretty uh, embroidery on the end of it. If I find it here, I'll let you know what was on the end of it. It looks like I already cut it off. So uh, here's a, just a pretty little... This was so pretty. I got this because it looks like it was like a banner, like a pole goes in here. I don't know if it would, would be a curtain because it's narrow. It's long and narrow. So like a pole would go here if it was a banner and you could hang it. And then so here, the design on here is, this is why I got it. It's a, it's teacups up here. I'm going to put my hand behind here so you can see it. But see the teacups, there's two stacked here and one here on a little like this is like, like a tablecloth so like a little table and you go up and or down and here's some roses right here here's some embroidered roses right here and here they almost they're embroidered they almost look like appliques but they're embroidered and then here's a real pretty teapot right here isn't that pretty wouldn't these be pretty to cut out and use in journals and then here's a pretty little piece down here that could be just like this piece alone could be cut off right here and used just this bottom little pointy piece. So anyway, I thought that would be really useful for its journals. So that is probably going in that stack unless, I don't know, I might use that myself. I just love that teapot there. I could just, I have to think about that one. <laughs> but um, here's a pretty little, uh, like a kitchen, is this a kitchen table? Oh, this is like a little... I don't know maybe this is like a tea towel or like a guest bathroom towel you might call it it's just uh kind of almost looks coffee dyed it's that color kind of tannish light tannish and then it has white embroidery on it i just thought it was really pretty i'm sure it's you know got some age on it so it has a different color little border down here almost yellowish right here this little kind of border right there here at the bottom so i just thought that was pretty uh, my husband brought me a slushie here. <laughs> I'm just like, I should get rid of it. It's not very much left in here. It was a strawberry slushie from Taco Bell. I never had one before. I was like, okay, yeah, sounds good. Whatever. He brought it home. He didn't ask me first, so whatever. <laughs> it was good. Here's a little linen. Uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be a hanky <laughs> or just a little scarf you put under a lamp or something, but isn't it cute? It has this pretty little lace and a delicate kind of silky um center there the fabric right here the pink and just i'm going to put that in those bundles and it'll be in somebody's bundle so just stuff like that i'm saving for those bundles uh this is a tea towel um this usually i put the tea towels in my shop separately so this is kind of like uh you know this is uh, vintage and so this looks like an applique here this this fabric with the grapes and then there's some embroidery and then this green, kind of minty green bottom piece here of fabric. And it's kind of a linen tea towel. And it has a little border up here too, just a white to match the linen. But um, that's pretty. So I guess I'm going to go through these and just decide if I want to list anything separately on my, on my uh, Etsy, in my Etsy. And then... And then whatever I don't, I'll, you know, and I'm, if I'm not using it, I'll be putting it in those bundles. But uh, 
this is another little tea towel and this one's very um it's like linen too but it's a totally different feel than the one i just showed you it's a little more i don't know i don't know how to describe it even <laughs> but it's a neat um kind of fabric and then it has a pretty little uh embroidered piece here it's like little lamps hanging from something here isn't it pretty like little looks like little lamps those little lamps you hang and you put a light in yeah it looks like the paper lanterns type thing lanterns i guess you used to say instead of lamps but that was pretty that's probably definitely going into those bundles so this is a little i have a bunch of little hankies here let me see let me see there is a doily or this is kind of like more like a doily but it's you know fabric in the middle with the crochet trim around the outside just white as a little spot you oh, know that's just something that's on there so I have a little spot I think most of the things I'm putting in there don't have spots on them but if they have spots that's why I'm putting them in there so they can be cut up right <laughs> okay so here's a little hanky it has a cool little border here like stitched here it is you can see it better on this side blue and gold it looks like a little border all the way around and then a little flower down here like a little blue daisy isn't it cute a little embroidered daisy so that was, i thought that was super cute kind of a muslin fabric on that one and then this a little yellow goldish yellow one it has a little applique butterfly isn't that adorable i love it <laughs> i love the color of it the yellow and let's see this is a pretty one here like a placemat size pretty flowered little i don't know if it's supposed to be a little dresser scarf or a place actual placemat but it, it's pretty and we can use it in our junk journals this one too got a little something there i did wash all of these and i, I washed and i think i ironed all of these <laughs> the ones that need ironing i ironed them all okay so this is a little blue you can see blue flowers on the white and it's got a little this one does nope that's something on there anyway uh it's got a little eyelet border here let me fix that i don't know what that is a little dust or something i don't know i thought i washed this one anyway <laughs> it's clean now okay so here's all the little hankies this is what i had fun ironing all these little things but I wanted to make sure they were clean, you know, so I did wash them and then I ironed them. But here's a little, this is a, there are a lot of these are pretty delicate. You can see my hand through and then see the beautiful little, I don't know if that, that I guess that's tatting, isn't it? It's kind of like tatting. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? So it's a pretty little handkerchief with some tatting. So that these are going in my bundles. Yes. So I'm going to try to just flip through these. I got to have them spread out so they don't get wrinkled, I guess. So I won't try to fold them right now. But um, there's another one here. See the little pretty little, you know, and if you've never seen anybody use these, you can cut the corners off like this and use them in the corner. Or you can make a flip up or, you know, lots of things you can do with these little hankies in your junk journals. So, oh, I'm not folding them. I'm not folding them. I'm flipping them over. <laughs> trying to remember. Okay, so this is a white one also with a pretty little trim. Isn't that pretty? That might be tatting too, huh? I'm not like an expert on tatting. When I see it, I might not recognize it. But now that I'm looking at this closer, uh, under the, you know, showing you in the camera, I'm like, oh, I think that's tatting. But there's a little white embroidery here, white on white. And over here too, little, it looks like a little bee almost. I don't know, there's some flowers and I guess that's a little flower. But almost look like a little bee but i think it's a little flower okay i'm going to flip them over so that when i flip them all back over they're right side up okay so this is another white on white it has a pretty border some white on white embroidery on all four corners on this one see how thin and delicate that is and then this one this has a pretty little scallop border on this one and then a pretty little flower there embroidered in the corner just one corner this one oh this let's see oh this is so, like this is like layered or something it has laces all the way three layers of lace here on the out you know lace trim so that was really pretty very delicate 
And there's another one with a lace border. Kind of an acre almost, not really white. And, oh, here's another tabbing. See, I didn't even realize until I'm just now looking at these again. <laughs> After, uh, uh, you know, I've had them for a week or whatever and noticing that a lot of these have the tatting. Isn't that neat? So there's tatting on this one, a little embroidery there. Kind of white on white again, but so pretty and delicate. And then here's one with the purple. So is this purple tatting? See, sometimes it's hard. I don't know the difference between tatting and crochet or knit, really, knitting. So um, if you think this is this purple is tatting, maybe you can let me know if you know what this is, knitting, crochet, or tatting. <laughs> is tatting crochet? Is tatting knitting? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I didn't really know, learn about tatting until I, until I started doing junk journals. I didn't know it existed. So uh, isn't this pretty? This has a very wide lace border. And there's a little fabric in the middle. And this one's pretty too, very delicate. Has a pretty scallop border with a pink pink on it on the tips of the scallop little kind of things coming in here embroidered things little decoration and then tiny little embroidered flowers I'm trying to show you flat so you can see and then it's all on on all four corners on that one so that's pretty and see I found a bunch of them I found all these on the same day it's like somebody got rid of all their hankies that's a pretty one with a you know about an inch inch or so uh, lace trim border on all the way around. It's got, is that paisleys or just uh, just a decoration there? I guess it's not paisleys, but very pretty. And this one too, just a four, you know, four corner decoration with the, is that, oh, there's some embroidery right there, a little kind of like an oval wreath right there. On, oh, and there's some in between this uh, like cut out part there. So very pretty. So those are all going to be divided amongst my next bundles. And I brought home a group earlier, a few weeks ago, that I showed you. They were colorful. Those are also going in my bundles. I already have them over there. So right over there, I have it in my craft room. I don't, you know, I'm gonna keep it somewhere. So um, let's see. The next little bunch is stuff that I'm probably going to be using. Um, let me see. Let me get this over here. Let me show you a couple more things in my shop. So I have these two Better Homes and Gardens. I have my own set aside that I'm making journals out of. These two I put in my shop. Um, I don't buy them unless I think they're in really good condition. So these are both in really good condition. All the normal stuff in here. This is the one that's got the colored, see the colored little dividers with the food pictures. And this one too, I think is the same like that very pretty if they're all in really good shape like this one has a little bit of spotting here but other than that oh this one somebody wrote a little note when they gave it to somebody like uh love linda mom and dad um what does it say love you a bunch linda mom and dad <laughs> other than that there's no writing or stains or anything in here and this one let's see let's see one of these i described in my listing as the I said something like the cover has a bend, but it's not like a bend. It's not like bent. It's like this. If you can see, it has a little sway in it. So there's nothing really wrong with it. And it's not really a big sway. In fact, you could probably unsway it if you wanted to take time to put it under something and kind of make it go back straight. But it's not really bent. Can you see? You probably can't even see it. It's like hardly a sway at all. I just don't want anyone to get it and say, oh my goodness, that's you know, bent or swayed. <laughs> so I had to put it in my listing because I, you know, I want to make sure people know what they're exactly what they're getting. So anyway, um, that's that one. It's otherwise in perfect condition. This one doesn't have any writing or anything in it. Um, the year on these two, I have it in my listings. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to try to be able to find it right now. Sometimes it's a little hard to find. Yeah, it's in my listing. It's in my listing if you want to see what year it's from. But that's those are both in my shop in case you need one. And they're both, you know, all the rings and everything are perfect on those. So great for making junk journals. 
this also is in here another little Spanish reader and I thought this one was cute I like the red color and I like this little picture right here can you see that super cute little picture on that one. Oh, I should tell you the year it's in my shop but if I can find the, the year real quick right here it says 1949 most of these that Spanish um, this one is Spanish review grammar so it's not a um, reader it's uh, you know teaching Spanish Spanish grammar and the year on this one uh, 1942 so a cute little, it would be a cute little junk journal. Someone may, wanted to make one out of that. This I just listed today. I just found in the last day or two. But it was so cute. And it's vintage. It's a little Flintstone dictionary. And uh, I just thought it was adorable. Um, it's, you know, it's got somewhere as far as, you know, it's been around since 1979. But no writing or tears. And it's um, got Phyllis Diller here. <laughs> And I thought it was cute. It's Wrangler jeans for only $7.77. Offer available available with purchase of this book. Details on the right side. So I guess you bought this book and you got that offer to get some jeans for Wrangler jeans for $7.77. But it has all these little tabs, you know, for the al alphabet. And so you can look up a word, you know, that starts with C and flip over. And then it has all these little pictures of the Flintstones up here. With the word, you know, with the words like here's um, daddy and here's, you know, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> That's a picture of daddy. And, uh, you know, just cute little pictures like that uh, all the way through. So I just thought it was so adorable that I had to pick it up from my shop. I added these three pieces of music that I found this week in one listing. Just three nice pieces of music for whatever. Collecting, using in junk journals. I think this is the oldest one. This one's Mozart. Mozart. Um, anyway, I thought that this was beautiful. They have, you know, I don't get all the music I see, but I just like th this one. This one has a little pencil writing where this one was probably the most used also. This one I thought was pretty with this red and blue front. <clears throat> and this one has several sheets in it. Um, the Mozart one only has the this two, you know, two, well, does it have three? No, it just has these two pages, you know, right here. This one has about six pages, one, two, three, and then you count front and back. So it's like five, six pages. And then this one has the most pages, but I like this front cover. I've made journals out of this type of cover. I just folded it over and cut it down to traveler's notebook size and made a journal out, use that for the cover. And I thought it was really cool. And so that one has several pages. So those are all in the same listing together in my shop. And so what else did I get? <laughs> These uh, little board games. I guess they're board games or pieces of board games. I guess this is a whole board game here. Parcheesi. And this is Snakes and Ladders. Anyway, they were just this. They weren't in a box or anything. They were just floating around like this. So I went ahead and picked these up. I thought these would be fun to use in some way. They could even be journal covers, right? Wouldn't this be cute to fold this in half and have a little parcheesi? <laughs> you know, I, you guys know I like to make different journals sometimes, right? I make all different kinds of journals. Not, you know, all botanical or all, you know, vintage. Um, I made comic book journals and all kinds of stuff. So I thought those would be fun to make a journal <laughs> cover out of. And then here's a big sketch pad. And it's not just, you know, I, I see sketch pads or sketchbooks once in a while. I usually don't get them because it's like, oh, you know, it's just a bunch of white paper, even though it might be nice. But this is like really nice paper. So that's why I got, and it's really big too. So I need it for a bigger journal. That would be awesome. But it's almost like kind of like papery onion skin. If um, that's the only way I know how to describe it. Maybe some kind of linen paper or something. But really super nice. And it's kind of, um, I think it's kind of browning here on the edges. So maybe it's been around for a while. It looks like it might have. So anyway, I picked that up. I thought that would be handy and useful. And I found a couple of recipes. I just find them once in a while. And I bring them home and use them for whatever. You can use these for collaging uh, pages in your journal. You know, uh, let's see. These have writing on. It says handwriting on this side. And gosh, it looks like a mimeograph or something or a carbon copy here I guess carbon copy is the purple it's purple purple print so I I think that might be a carbon copy 
with some writing on it. And so that would be to put in a journal. Look at the aging here. That's what we do, right? We did this dress, and there it is, already done for me. And um, here's another nice browned, nice browned distressed. Oh, well, this one has the carbon copy there too. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? So that makes for a real interesting page in a in a cookbook journal, right? Or any journal. Uh, Amazing Grace bookmark. I always pick up the bookmarks if I like them. Some recipe cards. Um, let's see, a bunch of those. And I like to, you know, you see me probably if you watch my channel decorating these and use a, I use these for journaling cards. And I like, I really like to decorate these and uh, things like that. I don't totally cover it. I just leave put a little decoration maybe on one side so you can see it is a recipe card, but then it has a pretty decoration on it. So I'll just stick those down there. And I'm going to check my time here and make sure I have enough time to show you the rest. Uh, let me check. Let me check. I think I still have time. Oh, yeah. I have uh, two minutes. <laughs> so um, I saw these candles. And I, I know I only have like one or two candles like this, the tea candles, with my, uh, my little um, burner from my, you know, wax seals. So, uh, you know, I was wondering, you know. I was thinking in the back of my mind, like, oh, I'm going to have to buy those one day. And, you know, I'm going to run out of those because I only have one or two. And then I saw these at the thrift store and I went ahead and picked them up since they were probably cheaper than in the store. I don't know. I know they're not very much in the store, but I think they were cheaper. So I figured why not go ahead and pick those up while they're available at the thrift store. And I found these cards. This is a... This is a memory game. So um, when I, I didn't realize it was a memory game until I got it home. Because I didn't really, you know, I don't have a lot of time on my lunch break. That's when I go to the thrift stores. And um, I just opened up. I was like, oh, look at this. Flower cards. <laughs> All I saw was flower cards. Pretty flower cards. A bunch of pretty flower cards. I was like, wow, isn't that awesome? Just flower cards. I don't know why there's flower cards in here in this little box, cute little box. But uh I was like, I can, I can certainly use those in my journals. Um, so awesome. You can use these as, as a centerpiece or a focal point on your tags and your journal cards. You know, things like that. And look, all the different flowers. Of course, there's two of each. Because <laughs> now I know it's a memory, memory game. But uh, yeah, I thought that was super fun. And I, I, how I discovered it was a memory game. Because I didn't read, I guess I didn't read the box. It probably says, yeah, it says memory improve your memory skills right there it's made by pomegranate kids and uh, <laughs> I just thought um, you know I can use those in my journals and they're thin too they're not like really thick because I know some memory cards are a little bit thicker so I thought I could even punch a hole and make a little hang tag out of it or um, glue it to it or, or I might I think my sewing machine would probably sew through here and I could sew it on a page or glue it on a page. My dryer isn't buzzing in case you hear buzzing. Um, it's got the, you know, where it refreshes and keeps it from being wrinkled. I think that's on. Anyway, um, yeah, so I can make a little tuck spot with these too. So I just, that was, um, I thought that was a lucky find. And, you know, probably nobody else wanted it anyway. But uh, anyway, I really like that. I think those are really pretty and I think those will be fun to use in my journals and this is the last thing I have to show you today so I have like one or two more minutes here but um, yeah this is some envelopes that I bought because uh, I got them online and I got them because the really old envelopes are expensive <laughs> you know it's like uh, on eBay Etsy wherever they're they're expensive they're really like 19 early 1900s or you know 30s 40s whatever uh, but these were uh, described as uh, 70s, 80s, I think, 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s. But they have all have stamps on them, and they, some of them look really, really cool. And I thought these would be fun to craft with, so I went ahead and got these. And they were cheaper because they're not, you know, 100 years old. So this was a stamp I tore off of a piece. I think she just threw that in there as an extra piece with a little stamp with a piano on it. And then I just, I'm not going to flip through every one, but I just want to give you an example. A lot of these are envelope fronts, so they'll be fun to, these will be fun to craft with. So you'll see, I'll do a video where I'm working with these and show you what I do with them. But I just wanted to give you an idea 
of what I got. See all the little pretty stamps, and you've got the postmark. Here's a real pretty stamp here. But let me let me find some that are. So here's an older one. See how it's distressed? Well, those two pieces. See how it's distressed? It's got a nice little. I don't know. I just like the whole look of this one. This one is 79. Uh, the postmark is see this has got a bunch of stamps on it and it's aged it's kind of browned um let me find some more with it here's the, this one looks old it has some one cent stamps on there uh, i don't see uh can't read the year so this might be an older one here actually but you, you see that older you know how it looks kind of like it's been around for a while these are all envelope fronts so i see here's some interesting stamps <laughs> you know postmark there uh, let's see what else we have here. I already looked through these. I sat down when I first got them and uh, looked at them all one night. I thought they were they were fun. So here's some interesting stamps and postmarks. And, you know, you get the idea. Just thought they would be fun. Like, and I don't have to use the whole thing. I can use pieces of it or, you know, the longer ones. Or I can fold them in half and make tuck spots, you know, pockets. Uh, just whatever, so, probably so many things I can, or we can think of to do with these, right? Look at all the little birds there. Those are one cent stamps. That's, that's 2002, so not even that old. But there's some, so there's some younger ones, there's some older ones. There's a, there's a neat one, 10 cent stamp. But that whole envelope look, look, looks cool there. So, uh, yep, <laughs> I think I'll have some fun with these. There's trying to remember how many was uh, advertised in the ad or the listing. Ooh, look at this one. Isn't that cool? The little girl there. Anyway, I'm going to have some fun with these and I will be back to show you what I do with them. So I'm, I've, I've had these sitting here for a couple weeks actually and I was going to do a separate video and I was like, well, let me just throw it in with my Thrifty Thursday so I can get started using these. I didn't want to, I didn't want to use them until I showed them to you. So now I can have some fun, or we can have some fun. So thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my Thrifty Thursday. And don't forget to check out Maria's channel. And if you're not subscribed to me and Maria, uh, that would be great. So you don't miss our videos. All that means is uh, you'll be notified when you subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. So why not do it, right? It's free. <laughs> Something for free. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, great week, and uh, happy crafting and happy thrifting.